best of 30 short answers. Plus say and boxer. Quick brief presentation. 1. Where was the headquarters of the British East India Company established first? At which place was the headquarters of the British transferred afterwards? Answer. The British East India Company was established first in Surat and then moved to Bombay. 2. In which year did the English raise their factory in the Kingdom of Golconda? Answer. In 1611, the English raised their factory at Masuli Patnam in the Kingdom of Golconda. 3. Where did the British find the city of Madras and build Fort St. George, the patron saint of England? Answer. The English bought some land on the east coast and founded the city of Madras, where they built Port St. George, named after the patron saint of England. 4. Name three important settlements of the English in Bengal around 1615. Answer. In 1615, the three important English settlements in Bengal were at Hubli, Kasim Bajai and Balasore, with subordinate factories at Patna, Rajmahal and Deccan. 5. Name three centers of English which developed into main commercial centers. Answer. Bombay, Madras and Calcutta were the main commercial centers. 6. List four goods that were exported from India to England by the British. Answer. The British exported indigo opium, spices and sugar from India to England. 7. In 1717, where did the Mughal Emperor grant the British the right to carry on a seaborne trade duty-free in Bengal? Answer. In 1717. The Mughal Emperor Farooq Siyar, who had been cured of a disease by William Hamilton, a doctor in the company's service, granted a firman to the company to carry on a seaborne trade duty-free in Bengal in lieu of an annual payment of 3,000 rupees. 8. Write the three firmans granted by the Mughal Emperor Farooq Siyar in 1717 to the East India Company. Answer. The three firmans were granted by Farooq Siyar in 1717 to the East India Company. One of the critical concessions was that the company was allowed to carry on a seabound trade duty-free in Bengal in lieu of an annual payment of Rs 3,000. At Surat, the company's annual tax was fixed at Rs 10,000 and customs duties were remitted. Finally, the English company's currency was allowed to circulate throughout the Mughal Empire. They were also permitted to purchase from the local zamindars, the Talkudari, in 38 villages adjacent to Calcutta. 9. Which were the two leading factories of the French, and where and when were these established? Mention the factories established after 1725. Answer. The French had two leading factories, Pondicherry or Puducherry and Chandranagar or Chandayanagar. Pondicherry's factory was established in 1674 and Chandranagar's in 1690. After 1725, two more factories were set up in Mahi and Calcutta. 10. Who was Sirajuddaula? Answer. Sirajuddaula was the grandson of Ali Verdi Khan. He became the Nawab of Bengal in 1756. On 23rd June 1757, the historic Battle of Plassey was fought between the Nawab of Bengal, Sirajuddaula, and the English East India Company, in which the English came out victorious. 11. Who was Shokat Jung? Answer. Shokat Jung was the Nawab of Purnia and a cousin of Sirajuddaula. His maternal aunt, Ghassiti Begum, tried to enthrone Shokat Jung as the Nawab of Bengal. But Sirajuddaula managed to ascend to the power of Bengal, arousing their jealousy and enmity. 12. Who was Mir Jafar? Answer. Mir Jafar was Bakshi under Nawab Ali Verdi Khan and later became the first Nawab of Bengal with British support after the Battle of Plassey. He conspired with the British under Robert Clive to dispose of Sirajuddaula to become the Nawab himself. Mir Jafar's army betrayed Sirajuddaula by not fighting for him. Sirajuddaula was defeated and killed. Mir Jafar ascended as the new Nawab of Bihar, Odisha, and Bengal. Mir Jafar conflicted with the East India Company over too many demands raised on him by the British East India Company and tried to tie up with the Dutch East India Company. The British eventually overrun the Dutch force at Chinsura, replacing Mir Jafar with Mir Qasim. 13. Who was Mir Qasim? Answer. Mir Qasim was the Nawab of Bengal from 1762-1763. Mir Qasim was installed as Nawab with the support of the British East India Company, replacing Mir Jafar, his father-in-law. Later, Mir Qasim fell out with the British and fought them at the Battle of Baksa. 14. Write four causes that led to the Battle of Plassey in 1757. Answer. The four causes that led to the Battle of Plassey in 1757 were 1. British help to the rival claimants of Nawab Sirajuddaula. 2. Misuse of royal permit and Dostakat by the English. 3. Capture of Qasim Bazar and Calcutta in 1756 by Nawab Sirajuddaula. 4. Black Hole Tragedy. However, many scholars reject it as a fake narrative. 5. The English protected Krishnadas, a wealthy merchant of Bengal. 15. When and where was the Battle of Plassey fought, and between whom? Answer. The Battle of Plassey was fought on 23rd June. 1757 at the Mango Groove, 22 miles south of Murshidabad. It was fought between Nawab Sirajuddaula of Bengal and the British East India Company. 16. Name the person who, before the Battle of Plassey in 1757, conspired with the English against Nawab Sirajuddaula. Answer. The persons who, before the Battle of 1757, conspired with the English against Nawab Sirajuddaula of Bengal were 1. Mir Jafar Mir Bakshi of the Nawab Sirajuddaula. 2. Manik Chand, the officer in charge of Calcutta. 3. Jagat Set, the leading banker of Bengal. 17. Write four causes that lead to the defeat of Nawab Sirajuddaula in the Battle of Plassey in 1757 at the hands of the English. Answer. The four causes that lead to the defeat of Nawab Sirajuddaula in the Battle of Plassey 1757 at the hands of the English were 1. Corrupt and treacherous officers of Nawab Sirajuddaula like Bakshi Mir Jafar and Manak Chand. 2. Nawab Sirajuddaula was no match for Clive, a man of dauntless courage, perseverance, and foresight, a great military strategist who had accomplished brilliant military feats. 3. Nawab Sirajuddaula was beaten by the English because he had no efficient intelligence system to obtain information about the company's activities that were against his interests. 4. Lack of experience, confidence, and courage in Nawab Sirajuddaula. 18. What does the Black Hole Tragedy refer to? Answer. The so-called Black Hole Tragedy refers to the alleged imprisonment of 123 Englishmen in a small room, resulting in the death of most of them. It was reported by Holwell, who was ambitious about becoming the governor of Bengal factory. Many scholars have rejected it as a fake narrative. 19. Give four results of the Battle of Plassey 1757. Why is it said that the Battle of Plassey was little more than a cannonade? Answer. 1. Mir Jafar was made the Nawab of Bengal, who gave the British East India Company, Zmindari, rights to a tract of land near Calcutta called at the 2-4 Pergamas. 
This marked the beginning of the British dominion in India. 2. Mir Jafar made enormous payments to the company as compensation. The army and naval officers of the company were also paid vast amounts of money as bribes or rewards for the services they had done to him. 3. A marvelous transformation in the position of the British from mere traders. The English became virtual masters of Bengal and, subsequently, the whole of India. 4. It paved the way for the English victory at Buxar in 1764. They also defeated the French and Dutch companies and thus virtually monopolized the trade and commerce of Bengal. The Battle of 1757 was little more than a cannonade because of the conspiracy that the majority of the Nawab's Siraj Dollar army, led by the traitors Bakshi Mir Jafar and Rai Dulbram, took no part in the fighting. 20. Who became the Nawab of Bengal in 1760? Which places were given to Britishers by him? Answer: Mir Qasim became the Nawab of Bengal in 1760. He gave Budwan Medinapur and Chittagong to the Britishers. 21. Mention four causes that lead to the Battle of Buxar in 1764. Answer: The four causes that lead to the Battle of Buxar on 23rd October 1764 are 1. Imperialist designs of the East India Company of Britain 2. The conflict for supremacy between Mir Qasim and the English 3. Inland trading equality allowed to Bengal traders by Mir Qasim caused resentment and indignation in the company 4. Exploitation and unfair advantage taken by the English traders and their gumashtas, Indian agents working for the English traders 22. Name the parties between whom the Battle of Buxar 1764 was fought and who came out victorious Answer: The Battle of Buxar 1764 was fought between the English East India Company on the one hand, and the combined forces of Mir Qasim, the Nawab of Bengal, Sujaudullah, the Nawab of Awadh and Shah Alam II, the Mughal Emperor, on the other hand in the battle for power in the Battle of Buxar 1764. The English came out victorious under the leadership of Major Hector Munro. 23. List the four results of the Battle of Buxar 1764. Answer: The four results of the Battle of Buxar 1764 were 1. Mir Qasim, who had been dethroned, was replaced by Mir Jafar as Nawab of Bengal. His army was reduced, and he was to keep a British resident at his court. 2. The British maintained Awadh as a friendly buffer between Bengal and Northwest India. 3. Mir Jafar had to pay for the losses the English suffered during the war. 4. The grant of Diwani of Bengal provided the English with enormous resources and helped lay the foundation for British rule in India. 24. List four provisions of the Treaty of Allahabad of 1765. Answer. The provisions of the Treaty of Allahabad concluded between Robert Clive and the Governor of Bengal, Shujaurdullah Nawab of Awadh, Shah Alam II, the Mughal Sultan of Delhi, are as follows. 1. The province of Awadh was returned to Nawab Shujaurdullah. However, two districts, Kara and Allahabad, were taken from them. 2. The English were permitted to carry on trade free in Awadh. 3. Shah Alam II, the Mughal Emperor, granted the English the right to collect revenue in Bengal, Bihar and Odisha. This is known as the Grant of the Diwani. 4. Nawab Shujaudullah had to keep English troops to protect his frontiers and their expenses. 25. Who were the parties in the Treaty of Allahabad, 1765, concluded? Answer. The Treaty of Allahabad, 1765, was concluded between Robert Clive and the Nawab of Bengal, Nawab of Awadh Shujaudullah and Badshah Shah Alam II, the Mughal Sultan. 26. What was the significance of the Battle of Buxar in 1764? Answer. The Battle of Buxar in 1764 dealt a final blow to the three princely powers involved, Bengal, Awadh, and the Mughal Sultanate, and established the supremacy of the British power in India. 27. Why was Mir Qasim dethroned from the post of Nawab of Bengal by the English before the Battle of Buxar 1764? Answer. Mir Qasim refused to act as per the fancy of the British and proved inconvenient to them. So he was finally dethroned. Mir Jafar was restored to the throne. 28. In return for the Diwani of Bengal, what did the English agree to pay to the Mughal Empire? Answer. In return for the Diwani of Bengal, the British agreed to give the Mughal Emperor Shah Alam to an annual pension of 26 lakhs rupees and the districts of Allahabad and Kara. 29. Write the four main centers of Portuguese in India. Answer. The four main Portuguese centers in India were Daman, Salmat, Basin, and Goa. 30. Name the first Portuguese viceroy in India and who succeeded him. Answer. During the tenure of Francisco Almeida, the Portuguese viceroy, the whole Indian seaborne trade passed into the hands of the Portuguese, which proved very lucrative. Francisco Almeida was succeeded by Albuquerque, who proved to be the ablest Portuguese viceroy in India and aimed to destroy the Muslim traders to establish a Portuguese empire in the East. The short notes display has come to an end. We welcome your feedback on the content. Please continue to check out similar displays. You can find the complete content on our associated blog, with the URL in the description. Hindi and Punjabi versions are also available on the blog. Keep practicing. Thank you.